All right, so again, I want to create three more ads, image ads, for this um, fishing t-shirt. So I'm going to go new, and I do the 600 by 315. Click OK. And I'll create another ad here based on the shirts that we downloaded. If you recall, we downloaded uh, the t-shirts here. So I'm just going to open them up, put it in the ads folder. There they are. And remember, we have our trusty little uh, action script that we created in our last, our last example. So I'm just going to use that for the regular T again to do the extraction. And then I have one saved for the women. But I don't have one for the tank top yet, so I might as well just record one right now. Just in case you missed the last video there or didn't watch the last uh, design example, I created a uh, what's called an action script for uh, basically getting rid of all the background and cropping out an image, or cropping out a shirt within one of those images. So let's crop out this one. And so the way you do it, is you, you come in here and you have to create a new folder. So to create a new folder, you can create a folder like that. I call it Teespring Actions. Then inside here, inside the folder, you want to create a new action. So you hit this new action button and I'll just call it uh, Tank Top and I'll record. As soon as I hit record, um, Photoshop is recording what I'm doing. So record. So what I'll do is I go to this image, I'm going to right click a duplicate layer. I'm going to hide the background. I'm going to grab the magic wand tool, click in the white area, hit the delete key, do control D to deselect or actually just go select, deselect. I'm going to right click this and convert it to a smart object and we're done. Now I'll come over here, I'll stop it and now I have an action script for this tank top design. So if I just close this without saving it and then reopen it again. Now if I just hit this tank top and hit the play button, whatever, go button. Boom. It's all done. All right. Let's bring our ad template back and let's drop in my uh, my shirt here. So I'll drop in the main shirt. And what I'll do is instead of putting the other shirt designs in there. I'll just stick with this one shirt design. And I'm going to go control alt left click and drag to get two do it twice to get two more copies of it and take these two so I'll select select this shirt and then hold down the shift key and select that shirt grab a corner hold down the shift key and the alt key at the same time and then make those smaller. Hit the enter key Put one over here, put one over here. Let's put those in the background behind the main shirt or just bring the main shirt above. Let's use our little shadowing effect and add the shadow to it. And if you don't know how to do that, if you haven't watched my other video, if you just double click the layer and go drop shadow, and then I'll take the distance out of there, just give it a bit of spread and some size and you'll see that thin white line around there to get rid of that use the stroke feature inside one pixel and make the color just hit the color thing there and you'll have a little dropper just go near the edge somewhere until you see the kind of line disappear there we go and the line is gone and then what you could do as well I bring that back the layer style window back up by double clicking the layer you can go new layer new style you click that and you can create a new style okay and once you do that your new style will be entered into the styles window here. If you don't see the styles, go window styles. Make sure it's checked and you'll see it. And now we have a little styles button. So we can actually just select this one back here at styles and boom, adds a style to it. But I don't want to do that for those back ones. So I'm going to remove the style by clicking the remove style button. I'm going to make these ones in the background blurry. So I'm going to take this one, I'm going to right click the layer rasterize same with the other one the other side there right click rasterize that allows me to do the blur effect so if I go to filter blur Gaussian whoops cancel that <laughs> filter blur Gaussian blur with a three radius do the same one for that same thing for that I should say 
Seam effect. Cool. Save this add as add one. And I'd like to put a nice purple background in there. Make it pop a little bit. Let's uh, get this rectangle tool and just make a rectangle like this and it's not just double click on it to change the color to the pink color we have there now, if you don't have the pink color saved here you can uh, just move it out of the way a bit double click and just grab the pink from your shirt okay I'm just going to use the uh, view snap snap it to the sides there we go hit the enter key and I'm going to bring this layer down to the bottom so it's like that, so it pops out a little bit. I can double click it, let's give it a border, a stroke, inside, uh, let's make it red. And make it big, Maybe 10 pixels. And I can see that it's not quite at the top there, there we go. We can also give it some depth as I've shown in my other videos, do an inner shadow on that as well. Move the distance. You had a bit of choke, a bit of size. That's kind of neat. You can see that the, the border is actually behind the shirt. If you want to put a border over top the whole thing that's over top uh, the shirts, actually, you know what? You could put it the border over top the back ones, but leave this front one over top the border. So how to do that would be, I'd have to go back to this rectangle object here and remove the stroke and I'll just remove the inner shadow as well and I'll just duplicate that layer and I want to bring it above those two back shirts and then what you need to do is double click in there and under blending options click that so that's selected there go fill opacity and remove it all add the stroke make sure it's on the inside nine pixels red and we can do the inner shadow here as well if you'd like just like we did before. And now the border is actually over top the shirts in the back, but not the one in the front. That's kind of cool. That's add number one. Add number two. Let's go file, save as, and make another add number two. I'll just do my other one I usually do. So I'll just take this shirt out of here, that shirt out of there let's get this logo and put it right here so let's go get our design logo that we did here and what I want to do is if I put this logo on there the the loves and the fishing words will blend into the backgrounds of the same color so I want to make this all white so what I'm going to do here is on this image I'm just going to select all the layers I don't need this here. Close that group. I'm going to select all the layers, except for the background, of course. Right click, duplicate layers, click OK, and then I'm going to go Control E, as in Everson, or Emerist, or Every. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> trying to think of a word with the letter E in it. It's kind of funny. Um, Control E will combine them all together. I'm just going to double click that to bring up the layer styles and do a an color overlay of white. Put it all to white. Finally, I'm going to right click and, rest and convert to smart object. And then I'm just going to drop that into here. And now I can resize it, put it into the side there. And again, I'm just holding the shift key down to make sure it does it evenly. And I'll take this shirt maybe and make it a little bit smaller something like that I'll put that in behind the shirt I can even give it some depth by giving a drop shadow a bit so if I give it a drop shadow and give distance out of there kind of let it pop a little bit and one thing I haven't shown in all my videos here for the ads is sometimes you can add text to your ads um, this technically isn't really text but it Sometimes uh, Facebook may um, say this is text. You're not allowed to put more, you're not allowed to put 20% area of on your image cannot have text in it. Sorry, I said that totally wrong. 
what I'm trying to say is you cannot have more than 20% text on your image. So you can't do things like, uh, you know, take your text tool here and go, you know, buy this now. And let's change the font to that so we can actually read it. Let's just make it like Arial or something. Arial. Let's say we made it to like red. You can't go by the. <laughs> I guess I should put the letter S in there, eh? Letter S. So you can't do buy this now and like have all this text right across your image. Facebook won't allow that. They'll just disapprove it. But you're allowed to have some text. And so I'll show you what I like doing. I'll just make this a lot smaller. And I'll just take a rectangle object here and just put it near the bottom like that. I'll have it over top. And let's give it a color of like, I don't know, dark. And then let's go to opacity and let's make it see through a little bit. Like that. So you can kind of see through it. Oops, I didn't want to add another object there. I did that by accident. Let's just delete that. I'll take this text, let's put that text over top and change the color to like, I like using like white or even better like, like a, like a yellow. And then what you want to do here, I want to get rid of the snap, is put your text in here. Um, like something I would want to put in there is like uh, love fishing could be something as easy as that love fishing with your dad right and then if you want to shrink it up even more you can go into text and you can use the this whatever this is I guess that's the what do they call it I don't know <laughs> It's like the distance between the uh, the characters. So if I take that, and you can see it shrinks it up a little bit, but make sure you can actually still read the letters. And I'll show you why I need to do that. So once you've done that, there's a tool that Facebook provides you that, uh, that lets you check to see if your image is actually in compliance with that rule of not having more than 20% text on your image ad. So let's go ahead and save this as a PNG. And go on Facebook, not Facebook, uh, go to Google and type in FB Grid Tool. And it should be the first one coming up. Or not. How about Facebook? Okay, here we go. Facebook grid tool. There's the grid tool link right here. And once you get to the grid tool link, oh, it looks like I got to I got to log in here. Just give me a second. Log in. Once you get to the grid tool, you'll see the link here. Just take this link and drag it onto your uh, your toolbar. If you don't see your toolbar here, um, just right click anywhere beside the tabs. Right click in make sure the toolbar is selected. I already have it on there so I'm just going to delete it but whenever when you got it on there you just click the button you go straight there so browse and we'll go to our our image here and so this is uh, how you use the tool now I got tricked by how they, they actually word this it says click all the boxes that contain text to see whether your image is covered by less than 20 percent text now I thought as long as it's 20% it'll it'll work but no 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 that's not the case it says less than 20% so you gotta make sure it's 16% so if you go like this and you start clicking you'll see or 12% yeah see 16 as soon as I click one more box it's 20% that means that's too much so as long as you have that many so that's why I like to shrink it up so it's kind of right in the middle. It can You can see you can kind of go a little bit over this way a little bit more and you can add more text all the way to the edge here if you'd like. And that will be less than, that's 16% coverage right now. And so that's less than 20. 
but you cannot do 20. But sometimes images like this, sometimes they think this is text as well, but sometimes they don't classify as, as it. It's maybe once out of like hundreds of campaigns I've done, they've, they've actually disapproved because they had text in there, but it's very rare. So anyhow, so once you see this, and if you're outside of the boxes, whatever, you just go back to Photoshop and, and you know shrink it up a little bit so it fits in here. And that's how you can determine whether or not your image will get approved by Facebook. Of course, you know, if you have something really violating their terms, like, you know, a naked women or something like that in your picture, then you, you can't do that either. So that will be our second ad. Let's go ahead and make a third ad. So with the third ad, I'll just save it as number three. What I'd like to do is add an image of people in this ad. So let's go to Google and see if we can find some people fishing, preferably a woman fishing with her dad. So let's say woman fishing with dad. Go to images. And see if we can find something that's not too too bad to put in here. Um, looks like a lot of uh, barely legal <laughs> images to put in there. A lot of women with um, swimming suits. How about something like that? Nah. All right, I paused the video and I just put woman fishing and this one doesn't look too bad. So that, that could be her father in the background. It looks pretty good. So that could be one. So I'm just gonna right click and save that in ads. So that could be one there. Um, I did find another one at Shutterbug that could possibly purchase. I don't have a Shutterbug account, so I didn't want to go and buy it but usually you can find images cheap you know for like a couple of bucks on those stock photo sites usually I find what I want just in Google I don't go hunt around too much in other stock photo sites just because I usually find what I want when you're just doing image ads you know don't worry about the copyright stuff too much because you know, your ads are only going to be listed for like a couple days anyways and then you're going to remove it and plus if you're doing uh you know dark posts and stuff you don't have to worry about it and a lot of these pictures are just inappropriate for um, for Facebook anyway so let's just go with the one I got for now let's open it up and it's actually pretty small oh no it ain't <laughs> it's actually big fits right in there cool okay let's uh, right click and convert that to a smart object so we can resize it here just fits in there. Okay, let's put it in the background here. And we can move our our shirt right there. And that could be another ad just like that. We can also add a um a border around it just like we did before adding uh, just take this square up above that's the one that had the border in it so remember with this one here we just um, made sure the fill opacity was was zero percent and put a stroke on the inside of nine pixels and we had an inner shadow as well and that could be something that could be another ad just like that so save that as PNG and there we have three ads for this girl loves fishing with her dad